nice ride out here. Yeah, I think this could be a whole buttload of fun. Oh, yeah. I'm happy that it's actually like clean. Yeah, that's good. Like if he wanted to paint it, he could. Hey Mark, what's this? Oh, uh, <laughs> just a little JDM magic. It was an accident. <laughs> I was left unsupervised. And that's a problem. And I got a good deal. So, there we go. This is a red top SR20. And it is fully built. And by fully built, I do mean to put into this 93 FDRX7 one. But today, here at Casa de Squatch, <laughs> we have some TSS Fab front control arms that we will be putting on the 2.5 RS Ti and uh, some white line sway bars as well. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, for the haters out there, because I know there's going to be some uh, of you JDM hating people, not hating people, the JDM. <laughs> no, I mean, this is my channel where, where we <laughs> deal with uh, flame throwing big block Corvettes and then busted ass like 60s and 40s. So like, this is, uh, we're kind of getting a good mix here, but I mean. I, I know you guys are gonna be like, why the hell would you ever put an SR20 in an FDRX7? You should yeah. put the rotary in there or a JZ yeah. or an LS. Like yeah. it's been played out. I'm, I'm one sorry. of these haters. Okay. I am. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, you have a Jay-Z in the garage, Mark. Yes, I do. I don't mm, care what mm, you guys say. Mm, what but... that's going to do is put two to three cylinders ahead of the power steering rack, which is going to put a ton of nose on the weight. And what I would like to do is keep this a lightweight track car with perfect balance. What I can tell you is that this SR20, in its current spec, is lighter than the rotary that came in this car. Mm. It will also make 100 more horsepower reliably with the piston engine. It's going to have a Link ECU, a really nice uh, wiring specialties, wiring harness. I'm going to take it to get it tuned to Drift Garage over in, in Auburn. And, you know, this should be a really nice, reliable car as long as I don't push it too much. I know these SRs have uh, some oiling issues and some other problems, but I don't care. I'm doing it. Also, it's lightweight. It's going to fit behind the power steering rack. This whole motor is aluminum. And it's gonna make tons of power and sound pretty good. So, and eat your heart out, world. <laughs> and sound pretty good is a really stupid way to put that. Uh, because I would like to think that this is a great way to get you on track in something really fast, but then if you want to turn it into an absolute rocket ship, rocket, JDM missile, people can make a lot of power on the SRs. And I will say, I've only seen this one other time because getting this to fit in this engine bay is a little bit difficult just because the way the rotary is designed, the way the front subframes are designed is a little bit difficult. I have seen one other person do this and that person is James Dean, the Formula Drift yes. champion. Yeah. Irish Drift champion, Not James Dean. Yeah. His makes <laughs> 600 horsepower on an SR in an FD and we have some options. We can we can push it later if we want to, but for now, I think 400 horsepower would be sweet. So, <laughs> obviously a lot of good stuff going on, but uh, as of this exact moment, we're trying to get some uh, flashy, fancy, functional TSS Fab components onto the great blue RS that you guys have already seen on the channel quite a bit, so. Which already has some TSS Fab components on it. We have the full TSS Fab rear subframe, which is a full direct bolt-in part. If you'd like to see that video, there are two of the installation already, go back and check those out. We also have the lateral links and the trailing arms for the GC8 Impreza. And 93 to 2007, I can confirm that all the parts are interchangeable. You can do all the stuff, mix and match, it does work. I've done it and it's awesome. All right. So do it. <laughs> yes. So while he whips that vehicle in, uh, I just want you guys to really look at this. And if this, if this image right right here doesn't do things to your body, 
on like just a on a really scary like primal level. This thing you need to figure it out. It's 21 inches from the tip of the crankshaft, from the, the tip of the crank pulley to the bell housing. Yeah. 21 inches. So that will happen on this channel or on Mark's future channel, whatever it will be. But if you follow along, you will know firsthand. So let's uh let's start tearing something apart. Yep. So let's do an unboxing first because I have brand new oh, white line true. sway bars and I have the brand new control arms from TSS Fab. So I want to say first and foremost, thank you to Import Image Racing because I do have a small sponsor trip with them and they gave me a really good deal on the white line sway bars. And uh, I want to say thank you again to TSS Fab for making such beautiful components. The lower control arms, which I'm sure are going to be amazing. We'll unbox those in a minute. And the you know, rear subframes and all the links arms and everything like that that we have already on the RS, They're all beautiful. They all fit perfect. They're a great company to deal with too. Just the, the customer service and everything. They're awesome. So thank you again, TSS Fab and Import Image Racing. Let's get this unboxing done. Thank you, TSS Fab and Import Image Racing. So here we have white line front sway bars and rear sway bars from Import Image Racing, which I order all of my Subaru parts from. If you're a Subaru person, you haven't heard of Import Image Racing, please go check their website out. They've <laughs> got literally out. everything you could ever want for your Subaru. Uh, Dan Young is their parts guy, uh, who's helped me out with everything that I have bought from them. Um, he's amazing. Dan is a great dude, really good customer service from Import Image Racing. Um, they can give you a deal, just email them and they can probably hook you up. Sway bar, 24 millimeter, two point adjustable. It's time to get more race car boys. Let's get rid of these stupid. Wait, is this mean you're gonna slide more? I don't think so, <laughs> but maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> That's not good. Last thing you need is more slippity slides. Uh, I think it will transfer less weight side to side because there'll be less body roll, which should mean I should slide less. I don't know, but right now you got more slides than DJ Khaled, so you better figure some oh. shit out. <laughs> I can't stop putting the SR in the shot. Is the other part number here. Okay. Yeah, this, here we go. Also white line, so this is, this one's the front, 24 millimeter, and we have a 22 millimeter rear. These are adjustable. These are sweet. I have white line on the 01 and on the 85. It's amazing. Their yeah. R&D is great, they're based out of Australia. Actually, you have white line on the Datsun, I have white line on the Cutlass even. <clears throat> Beautiful. Super heavy duty. Triple adjustable in the rear. We've got double adjustable in the front. So explain the triple adjustable. So uh, the longer, so if you put the bolt in this hole, the sway bar will be softer. So it'll be let more flex side to side than if you put it in this hole because you're essentially shortening the sway bar, the length of the sway bar. Cannot wait, let's get this. So, so. <laughs> did, you, did you see the episode of Faster and Newburn, Faster with uh, Newburn and Cotton? Ooh. What in the hell is that, Mark? This is my new TSS Fab plaque. Look at that thing. That's cool as Laser shit. Steel. So they just had a new website. They just put a new website out um, where you can order their parts and pieces. If you have a Subaru. Um, they do some drifting stuff, so if you need like a, to LS swap your Subaru, or you want to Jay-Z swap your Subaru. That's a crazy sentence. Yeah. To LS swap your Subaru. They fit really well. Uh, Jay-Z's fit really well on these Subarus. TSS Fab makes subframes, so they're direct bolt-in. They come with NASCAR front sway bars, like the mouse for those, like they're legit. TSS Fab is a really, really cool company, and everything is very reasonably priced. Um, so, they were having a promotion for their new website, and they didn't, like, it was pretty sweet. If you ordered something, um, and you were a repeat customer, you'd order a bunch of stuff before, you get a free plaque with it. So I got the, the laser cut plaque to go with you. I mean, you spent enough money with them, I think. <laughs> These are super stout, 
zero flex. So oh my gosh. The reason they're all heim jointed. It looks like you here. could put this car on hydros and it would. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. So. Wow, look at. This takes a factory ball joint. The rounded edge on that? Yeah. Yeah, TSS Fab is no joke. And they powder coated it. That's beautiful. This is gorgeous. Yeah. This is, see, this is primo race car goodies right now. And it makes me furious that I, <laughs> I have no reason to buy stuff this nice right now. And you know what? <clears throat> you can buy cheaper stuff, but TSS. Why would you? If you can afford to get I thought about, the right stuff. I thought about just doing the bushing upgrade for the factory lower control arms, because I have brand new STI lower control arms. They're brand new. Right. But. I don't like the softness of the bushings on the factory ones. And now that the rear end is so locked up from the other TSS fab components that I have. It's a weird shot. Keep going. From the other TSS fab components that I have, um, I felt like I needed to upgrade. Put your blade away, dude. Don't you know knife safety? I'm gonna cut his nipple off. Yeah, he's just, so you just squeeze it. I, I felt like it would be an injustice to the car to put just bushings on it. And you're absolutely right, Mark. It would be an injustice to the car. The, oh, the rear end is so I would venture to up. say it'd be an atrocity. Good Lord. You okay there, Dave? <laughs> Dave might have a crisis. <laughs> 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 Dave just had a slight problem. <clears throat> so holy crap. Wowzers. So they make an anti-dive caster kit? Which anti-dive caster kit. Yeah. And if you're a Corvette guy, <laughs> you know what? You know what dive is. You hit the brakes on a C5 real hard, you'll hear that little front lip. <laughs> Even on my 85, it did the same thing. And that thing ride like, rides like a truck at the height, I guess. Anyways, sorry, enough about so car Corvettes. These, I mean, this adds five degrees of caster. Oh my gosh. Five millimeters of, of is it? These are the plus five. It adds plus five of something good for the car. Plus five millimeters length, it adds caster to the car. Um, so you can oh, get okay, there. yeah, yeah, it's offset to create a better right. wheel center so or whatever. You can actually see in this bushing here, this side is closer than this side. This is offset. So it adds caster. Not the wrapper. The this is, wow, that's slick, dude. <clears throat> so rather than getting the polyurethane bushings and pressing them in and trying to adjust getting that thing clocked the right direction, this right here will just add the caster. These are adjustable. So you can lengthen this or shorten this, which will move the arm in and out like this to add more caster if you'd like to do that, um, which helps tremendously with alignment. These ones here accept a factory ball joint. I had the option if I wanted to, to do the TSS fab, like heim jointed ball joint and get rid of the factory ball joint. But this here, I can just go to any auto parts store and get an STI ball joint, throw it in there, good to go. And that so. is extremely handy. <clears throat> Later on down the road, if for some reason I decide to rally this car, these control arms are going to do that for me. I will never have any problems with these control arms. They're rally tested, rally built. They're super bulky. I mean, just rear end, the you can look at frame, it. Same. So this car is getting very race car. Yeah, as if it oh, wasn't. <laughs> But I don't like, so at autocross right now, I've been having this issue where the front end feels kind of numb. When I go to turn, I can feel the wheels like moving in and out like this, like the, like the caster's changing and my alignment is changing in the front end. What this is gonna do for me is lock everything in and make it so nothing moves ever again. <laughs> they're never gonna break, they're never gonna bend. I can jump this car, you know, 150 feet, like, you know. And you'll see that next time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of my BS talking. I'm super excited about all this. Thank you again to Import Image Racing. Huge thank you to TSS Fab for building nice, affordable, quality components like this. Thank you for my free plaque. I'm super stoked about it. Let's go get the RS and put this crap in. I'm so excited. I can't even think about it. I think he might be a little stoked. Hey, your Subaru and I have something in common. You're erect? 
No. Oh. Dave, you have a guess? I was going to say what Mark said. <laughs> so, some car guys just, that's all they can think about. There's no comedic brain. It's your car's fucking drenched, dude. Your car's drenched. Uh oh, shit, the foreman's here. Hold on. <laughs> Why'd he shake off? Why'd he shake? I don't know. What is it? No, he's wearing a coat. <laughs> What's up, dude? Man, comedy is the highest power. And sometimes car guys just. Uh, 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 they just can't think about. That's a solid joke, dude. Subaru's wet, so am I. Anyways, God, it's so good looking. I'm finding these stickers. I took them off the 85 because it's been out for so long, but leaving those stickers on the car to me is like such an awesome like you know when you see the cars leaving the drag strip and they're driving through town and they got the white they got the white paint pen on the side it's just like man that person fornicates period <laughs> i might actually have to bleep out what you said there because the, the title of that video is going to be my brother got the best deal ever and I feel like skinning him and wearing his flesh as a skin suit because I'm so mad at him. I spent 15 grand on a Corvette that barely fucking runs and he spent not much of that. <laughs> and he got something that runs really well. Oh, it drifts so And good it's too. touring. Whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. I also got another thing and maybe you can add this with the stuff about that on the Patreon. Was it in that deal? In that deal, yeah. Okay. Which I don't think, nobody knows about that yet either. So you know what, I also This got might it. just be a 45 minute video on Patreon and then it will shorten it down for YouTube because that's, this is nuts. I, let's. This is 24 minutes in? Okay, but what I'm saying is, let's all hear this, I'm about to say. All this is that, getting cut. That you guys can't, <laughs> you can't hear this next part because this part's gonna be on Patreon, but I also got a 95. Sounds good. I'm gonna drink coffee and find a chair. Just Thanks. kidding. <laughs> Mark over here sweating his off. Dave and I are opening and closing our hands, hoping that they still function. Hell yeah, dude. Race car stuff. I love the color of the brakes. This is about what the car looks like every time Mark drives in an autocross, actually. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna kinda have to do it simultaneously because we also have to take the sway bar off in order to get the control arm off, basically. And the wap wap. And the wap. Is the wap wap the impact? Yes. Got 17 in the wap wap. Thank you. You know, if you put a wide body on that, you would hide that scratch. Yeah. I'm thinking that we pull a premium one week before race wars. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I didn't think that one was going to fit. That worked out. What's dope, Mark? Well, we got both front lower controls. For the record, it's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, not even. <laughs> that was under the car just a second ago. Yeah, so we got... Look at how hilariously small. This is the front sway bar. And as you can tell, this bushing has seen some better days. Oh, wow. There's a ch how does a chunk get out of that? Uh, probably hit something. Don't know what. He wasn't using that part of the bushing. There you go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we can remove these. Those, I think, are aftermarket polyurethane. But they're chewed up. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, they came with the new sway bar. Oh, that's right. My thought is, we'll take a look at the instructions here. Uh, over there. So, we got our little. What did you say, Dave? Hard I boy? I said they were cart boys at one time. Hard oh. boys, dude. No, I think they might be torque solution. Grease free technology bushings because they have a PTFE lighting. Oh, Hell yeah, dude. That's one more reason to get the white line ones because they have that technology. <laughs> we have the technology. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and hang the front and put the new uh, end links on. We'll go ahead and mount it in with the new bushings here. Um, they use the factory OEM brackets, which is nice. That one down. That was 
feel a little bit loose. I might get some new end leaks here soon. So the cool thing about these white line ones is, is they come with these right here, which are uh, like lateral, not lateral leaks, what are they call this? Located collar. Yeah, like a located collar. It's a lateral lock kit. So these here will keep the sway bar from going side to side. I hope Mark wasn't talking to you guys like an old white woman talks to anybody who doesn't look white. Alright, I don't have a, a bracket of hoochie. Okay, hurry, turn the bushing around though. So, no, so the slot is facing the rear. You gotta pop that off. Slots race in the rear, you said? Yeah. All right. Where's the, there it is. the bracket right there? And there's a little nut. A little bit of a nut action there. I think. You got the there nut? we go. There we go. And then, I think. I can't see or feel anything. Well, you're looking good from here, Dave. Thank you. Talking about the car, though. <laughs> That's whatever you feel, dude. Is that, is that better? <laughs> yeah, I'm Mark. No. No. Whoa, dude. Relax. Wow, dude. I can see all of Dave's, Dave's gray hairs in HD. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was a fing mean ass thing to do to Dave. <laughs> I cannot get that thing stuck. Darn it. Are you filming your butt? Fucking spirit. What? Are you filming your butt? Why would I be filming my butt? Can you not see me holding my Oh, come on. Is it started? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know it's tight when metal shavings are falling out. Here. And here. You say 214s? Where do you, do you have all of them? You bogart son of a bitch. <laughs> here you go. And then this one goes down to the top, like that, and a 12, <laughs> and a 12, and a 12. Oh. This looks like a Milwaukee ad, dude. You got new cotter pins, brother? Yes, I do. Good, because this one's looking a little uh, sad, crusty. Sad panda. Sad panda. Oh, this needs to be tightened down. Yeah, I haven't tightened it yet. Okay. So, for you guys playing along at home, when you get these, you've got... This, and you get your bearing here, the bearing goes on, and you've got a washer, it goes on, and then that nut, which is a 16 mil bolt, sorry, not a nut, bolt. Nice and tight. Very specific torque sequence is three Agadogas. Map, map, maps. So the way it's really is, hard to spell that in directions, by the way. Map, map, map. The way this installs is like this. So you have the taper seat here. So your factory ball joint will slip in through the top and the bottom hole is smaller. Um, this will be your front and this is the rear. Um, what this replaces, Dave, if you want to bring the old control arm over, is this monstrosity of ridiculousness, which as you can see, I really like that instead of 
that portion being bolted in that upper portion instead of so there's just that one bolt in there now and that's all one fixed point as opposed to on the old one it's bolted to the control arm through the back you know what I'm talking about yeah so is this raised or roll center in the front You just asked if he's going to roll the car? <laughs> no, I asked if it raises or lowers the roll center of the car. That's a great question because this one's tipped up. Mm -hmm. I'm if I can lower it, which will free up the front end. Should. I believe you're right. Which will what the front end? Free up the front end. All right, so after some Dremel action to get the sleeves off of the old ball joints. Which was a pain. That sucked. That did suck, Yep, we got it. So what Casey's referring to are these right here, these old taper seat things. So when you go from the old STI control arms to the new ones, the ball joints had a sleeve on them. So, so that they would fit in that tapered seat right there. So then you take this off so it's smaller, so it will accept the new TSS fab control arm. Um, so we got through that debacle. We got through that debacle, but now what I've run into is that these aftermarket end links that I got, they hit the control arm before they ever line up to this tab. Hits the control arm before the bolt gets centered, so you can't get the bolt through so I need to get new slim end line, <laughs> slim end links for the front of this bad boy. Uh, so TSS little... Fab did supply their own swim bar end links when I got the rear subframe and lateral links and trailing arms. They came with their own sub, their own links, but uh, the fronts looks like I'm gonna have to order something smaller. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, we will prevail. Yes, we shall. But at a later date. At a later date. So, we will be back, and you guys will see all of it. Uh, as soon as Mark gets a little bit thinner, thin boy, thin boy, and links. Because uh, those big thicky McThickums just ain't gonna. Nah. No dice. Nicholas Cage's and links. <laughs> Cage, get up. <laughs> oh my god. My Nicholas Cage and links are not going to do the trick. That's a wild. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So, uh, Mark's going to order some of those. Along with a few other things, because while we're in here, is, might as well do some other things. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> See you guys next time. Deuces. Deuces, thank you. <laughs> Dave over there cooking himself. All right. I have gotten a little, a little toasty. Rot rotisserie <laughs> chicken legs?